This is Twit. Oh, yes, I think that's in a short period of time, I think faster than anyone really realizes that will be it. There is no mm -hmm. doubt. I mean, we had talked before that uh, there are several manufacturers that are actually putting Roku inside the TV, which is right. like huge. Yeah, we saw that at CES. Um, uh, uh, TCL and Hisense were two of the Chinese companies anyway that were doing it. And they were the ones that were sort of touting it the most, I think, at CES. Uh, but uh, we would expect to see that uh, moving forward. Uh, that, oh, yeah. that much more stuff is going to be coming from from the cloud, as it were, from online uh, than ever before. Um, but still, in all, uh, terrestrial broadcasting is gaining some ground too, isn't it? Yes, they uh, had a statistic, I think, in the last year, year and a half, that uh, terrestrial only broadcasting to the home had increased 14 percent that's and, amazing uh, to me I, I i would have thought it would be continuing to decline as more and more people went to the internet or uh, a lot of people are on cable or satellite well i think i think you touched on it there what it is is that they are seeing that they can get their shows on demand through netflix mm. and other and other outlets but if they just want to watch television why pay a cable company just to watch television and their specific shows they can get on the internet. So they really don't need cable anymore. And I think uh, a contributing factor to that is the economy. When things kind of went down, uh, they looked around and says, what, what can I cut from my budget here? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have the money. And a lot of people said, well, Hey, I can kill cable and because I can get it out over the air. And that's exactly what's happening. And I think that's now snowballing that people realize they can get a very high quality signal over the, from all over the air into their HD system. And, gee, I don't really need to have that cable bill. <laughs> well, of course, over the air is going to give you the uh, major networks and your local, some local channels. But uh, what about things like? Um, Discovery Channel or TLC or the Movie Channel or any of those kind of things that are on cable. Wow. How are people going to get those? Well, I think they're getting them over the Internet. Mm. And, there, and there are also uh, cable shows, channels, outlets, whatever you want to call them, like Ion Television and This TV. They're on cable channels, but they're now, I see, moving over into broadcast subchannels. So oh, I can so they're moving to terrestrial. Right, right. And they're exactly. what, buying sub-channels from the carriers, say NBC exactly. or whoever's actually broadcasting well, over yeah, the Yeah, the air. broadcasters. Uh, like here in L.A., uh, we have uh, KTLA Channel 5. There's Channel 5.1, which is their standard programming. And then there's 2, which is Antenna TV, which is a network of um, old... 50, 60 shows. And then this is another network that's on 5.3, which just runs movies, classic, or I should say popular movies of uh -huh. different eras. <clears throat> and that is gaining more and more ground because they find that, okay, I don't have to sit and watch uh, standard commercial television with all these commercials. I can go over to 5.3 and watch these great movies uh, with limited commercial interruptions. So the dynamic of the whole thing is kind of changing, although we see the cable companies getting bigger and bigger. And uh, well, it, yeah, this uh, whole that Comcast <clears throat> and Time Warner announced that they're going to merge. Exactly. Uh, which is going to be huge. And I ran a poll on AVS Forum about that. I said, and I asked, you know, do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing for consumers? And it's like, you know, 80 plus percent said it's a bad thing. Um, you know, because it's more like a monopoly. So that could, could in fact, uh, come back to bite him in the butt, don't you think? Well, well, you got to consider that one owns Universal and the other owns, owns Warner Brothers. So you've got two <laughs> major studios uh, feeding yeah. uh, libraries into the cable channels again. So they're, they're buying programming. I don't think mm. the subscriptions, uh, you know, that's the revenue, that's the money. But I think in order to keep people in that genre, they have to have good programming. And now they have these movie libraries. 
So it, that's a big plus to them. 